In this video tutorial, we are going to be creating ourselves the Italian flag using Python code. As you can see here, it's just made up of three rectangles, green, white, and red. So let's head over to our Python editor, which is a Mew, and we'll get started on creating it. First line of code is from turtle, import star. Okay, so we're importing all the functions from the turtle library. That will give us access to, um, to all those different functions. First one we're going to call up is the speed function, and we're going to set the value there to zero, which means we're going to draw uh, this flag at the quickest speed possible. We're then going to set up our page to 800 pixels in width and 500 pixels in height. And then we're going to move to our starting position. So I'll just put a comment here that says move to start position. So to do that, we need to lift our pen up off the page first of all, so we're not uh, drawing a line as we move our little turtle around. We'll then use the go to function to go to our starting coordinates, which is a minus 400 for the x value and 250 for the y value. Once we're there, we can put our pen back down on the page, ready to start drawing. So the first color we're going to draw, the Italian flag is the green rectangle. So let's set the color to green. And we'll turn our fill on so when we draw this rectangle it will color it in green. We're going to move forward 267 pixels to begin with. So it's going across the page a third of the way. Then we're going to turn right 90 degrees and we're going to head down the page. So forward 500 pixels. From here we're going to turn right at 90 degrees and then we're going to go forward 267 pixels again and that ought to do us for the first rectangle so we will end the fill there so that's our code to make the green rectangle let's save this up and give it a test run to make sure it's working so italian flag would be a good name for this file give it a run and you can see we've got our green rectangle in already so that's looking good okay, let's make a bit of room here before we start the next color which is white Okay, you could just leave the background white here and not even worry about putting this um, rectangle in, but for good practice, I think I might add it in. So we'll change our color to white and we'll turn our fill back on. So we'll now color this in. Now just realize we need to actually turn our um, turtle around so he's facing the right way and in the right position. So we're going to need to do a few turns here. First of all, we're going to turn right 180 degrees. And we're going to move forward 267 pixels. So that moves us a third of the way across the page. And now, and once we're in that position, we're going to turn left 90 degrees. Okay, so we're going to head up the page by going forward 500 pixels. Then we're going to turn right, go across the top of the page. So we'll turn right 90 degrees and move forward 267 pixels. Then I'm going to turn right again, about 90 degrees, and go forward 500 pixels. So heading back down the page now. And from here, we can just end the fill. And that is our white rectangle drawn. Okay, we won't even bother testing that because you're not going to see it anyway. So let's keep rolling. Uh, the next color is the red rectangle. Okay, so let's just set that color to red. If I haven't told you what this line here is it's just a comment so when you see a hashtag with a word after it it's just plain simple english just explaining to people what's happening in our code okay so we've got the color red set up here we can turn our fill on now we need to move into position so i'm going to turn left 90 degrees to begin with and i'm going to move forward 267 pixels i'll turn left 90 degrees again and go forward 500 pixels do another left turn at 90 degrees and go forward 267. That ought to do us. So we'll end the fill off and to finish with we'll hide the turtle so we can't see the little turtle that draws our shapes for us. That's worth saving and giving a run to see if it works. One, two, three. We've got a green, a white and a red rectangle. And there you have the Italian flag.